Now we have an enormous amount of immune cells in our gut and it's thought to be up to 70%. So we have an enormous amount of these immune cells that are lining our digestive tract, particularly our gut. Now the thing to remember is that we also have bacteria in this region as well. And what we know about this bacteria is how they signal to the immune system and have a very close relationship with our kind of regulating our overall health. Now our gut bacteria will differ from person to person. There is no um, gut bacteria that is the same in two people. So it is very unique to you. And it plays a really pivotal role in overall health. But it's very much influenced by our lifestyle. So the foods that we've eaten, our levels of stress, what medication we've been taking, early use of antibiotics, for example, will all alter the diversity of the bacteria within our guts. Now Hippocrates has famously said that all disease begins in the gut and much of that is, you know, is to do with the gut, the bacteria that reside in the gut. Now I think the thing that's really important to understand is that when these bacteria in the gut are, are performing as they should be, they can produce vitamins. So vitamin K, for example, is produced in the gut. So that firstly, they play a role in producing vitamins. Now, the other thing is that they can also help with digestion. So they play a really important role in what we call peristalsis. So peristalsis is the squishing action of the colon to make sure that we pass a stool regularly and efficiently. So often individuals with constipation, for example, have low levels of bacteria, which is why they don't get that peristaltic action, that squishing action, to make sure that they pass a stool regularly enough. So we also know about the role of this gut bacteria with immune function. So they signal to the immune system. So that's a really important part of overall health. Now, the interesting fact about the gut bacteria is that many people think that it's fairly robust, but actually it's not. So if we think about junk food, for example, so um, leading junk food brands, if you have a particular meal in one of these places, like a hamburger with chips, what we know is that that can damage that bacteria for kind of up to three weeks and it can take just one meal to damage that bacteria for 21 days. Bacteria, for example, is also affected by antibiotics because antibiotics are not selective and they kill off the bad guys, but they also kill off the good. Which means that many experts have been led to say that actually it can take a whole year for your bacteria and your gut to recover from just one course of antibiotics. So the healthy gut bacteria are our friends and we really want to foster their growth because they play such a key role in overall health. Mm -hmm.